What's up, Cal Game? Welcome back to Dynamics. So, what do we have here? We're solving F14 warrant. So, our goal is to find basically the velocity when we compress this block 0.5 meters against the spring. So, we know that it's at rest initially and the spring is uncompressed initially. And so, let's solve for it, right? So, how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to use the equation. Basically, the equation from the book is the sum of the initial energies plus the sum of the input of energies, right? This is U, 1 to 2 is equal to the sum of the final energies. So our initial state is going to be here when the spring is uncompressed, we're not in any motion. And our final state is going to be when the spring is compressed and we're moving. So like I said, we're starting at rest and the spring is uncompressed. There's probably not going to be any initial energy, so I can set that T equal to zero. So then the input of work from one to two, the change in energy from one to two, is going to be any force that we put in or take away. So in that case, we're going to be putting in this 500 newton force. So that's going to be an input and that's going to be where we put in for this change in energy from 1 to 2. So let's label this the work, 500 newtons. All right. And then what is this going to be equal to? So at the end we're going to have kinetic energy, right? Because we're trying to find velocity. So we can label that kinetic energy. And then what else do we have? Well, the spring is going to be compressed. So we're going to have some potential energy of the spring. So let's expand this equation. So work is equal to force times distance, right? So this is going to be that force of the 500 times distance. And the kinetic energy is 1 half mass velocity squared. So there's our velocity. That's what we're solving for. It. And then uh, spring energy is 1 half k delta x squared. So that's our 0 0.5 meters right there. Same with this distance. OK, so let's expand this even more. Force, right? We know it's 500 newtons, but it's pushing at this 3, 4, 5 angle triangle. We just want to know what's pushing in the x direction because that's the direction that we're taking this to be in. Anything that we push down, the block isn't moving up or down, so if change in distance in the y direction is equal to zero. So we're only interested in changing distance of the x direction, which is why we have to take that 500 and multiply it by the x, which is going to be four-fifths of that. You can sell that by the right triangle. So distance is 0.5 meters, right? That's where we're traveling. So that's equal to one half the mass is 10 kilograms. And velocity squared is what we're solving for. Then add that to one and half. Do we have k? I totally forgot to write the spring constant. k is 500. We can go back. 500. Change in x squared again, 0.5. Make sure I did all this right. Probably. I'll solve this on my calculator later. But anyway, velocity, I plugged it in already. 5.24 meters a second. I trust that you guys know how to solve this equation from here, right? Okay, so there we go. That's our final answer. So we're going 5.24 meters a second at that point when we compress the spring 0 0.5 meters. So cool. Yeah, any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Check out my other playlist. Check out anything else I put on my products. You know, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Thanks for supporting.